Hello there, my sugars. Get shotguns out. And welcome to another little commentary ish thing. You guys seem to really like this when I'm talking over some random gameplay that I'm not good at. But yeah, we're back at Black Ops 1 in theater mode because I'm too lazy to, lazy to record it while I'm actually playing it because I feel like if I'm not. I'm doing. And you might realize that you're just looking at this. Well, that's because I was AFK for some of this game. So yeah. So I'm going to be super speed being that part. But basically, what I'm here to talk about is the next Treyarch official game. Now, Call of Duty Ghosts coming around the corner. And there, I, it's a little hasty of me to be going to the next Treyarch game. I've mentioned this in my mining episode, I believe, but I, I'm not really good at thinking of stuff on the spot. When I actually take time, think about what exactly I'm going to say. By the way, I do terrible this gameplay, so I am sorry if your eyes bleed. Yeah, but... <laughs> Also, I don't play the objective that much. I'm just here get, trying to get get some kills, kills, so I can get a quick gameplay up for you guys. Who knows? Anyway, but I mean, okay, God. But the reason I'm saying this because, because I'm, I like Treyarch better than Infinity War. I don't want anyone to get on my butt, but I like Treyarch games better. Treyarch, I feel like I give better packets. Now, I shouldn't be one to, to talk because I've only played Modern Warfare 3. E and Black Ops 2. I've played Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2, but I didn't start Call of Duty or continue it with it. My first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 3. Kind of a bad start, but it was a hasty thing. But I feel like I got more out of Treyarch than what I did from Infinity War. But so this is why I'm c coming up with this topic. A lot of people, even when Modern Warfare 3 was finished, people are, are talking about, oh, what's Modern Warfare 4 going to be? What's now Call of Duty Ghost? So I feel like I have the right to say what to the next Treyarch game going to be. Well, first, what I want it to be, I I want it to be another World World War Two style because I just well, I was they just finished. I haven't finished the movie yet, but I, I'm going to see it on Netflix when my parents renew the Netflix account. But and, and I went over to Captain Ranger's house or Dominic, as you you guys might know him, know him. I, we're really good friends, so I go over his house to go over my house every so often. So, which is why I didn't have a video up on Saturday because I was at his house like late at night, and we stayed up and and, and we watched Saving, Pri Saving Private Ryan, a World War II movie, and I was amazed by it. He keeps telling me, "Watch this movie, watch this movie." So I was going over his house, and he says, "You know, what? we're gonna watch this movie." So we're really so I'm sitting there watching it. And I'm, and I go to him like this, this really makes me want to play World of War. And then I'm thinking, wait a minute, I don't have World of War. I wasn't there to experience it because I was an idiot and didn't know anything about these so-called COD games. Games, but anyway. Anyway, wait, I want to see another World War II style game because I know it's been overused to death now. But I just want, look at how, how this things look now. Now, why am I saying things, guys? Look at how the guns look in Origins. Look at a World War II weapon, and they look amazing. Imagine that as like a multiplayer player aspect game. I can just imagine running around with MP40, maybe with Thompson, even taking some stuff from other things, like making the, like making the what you call it, for extended mags for Tom Thompson have 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 the 50 round drum mag like from Mob of the Dead. I mean, there's so much many things they can do with this. Um, I'm not really a big campaign player, so I'm not sure how time for the campaign. They might put it in a prequel or, or a sequel. I don't really care about campaign. I want to see some multiplayer and some zombies. Zombies is a whole other different video. And I'll be getting that uh, hopefully sometime during the zombie marathon that is coming up tomorrow. Yes, I expect a bunch of zombie stuff coming soon. And even just a little bit of a useless plug in I'm also AFK for this part too. Too I'll be playing like Mind Z, I'll be playing some Crafting Dead servers, I'll be playing some I'll be playing some zombies, doing some zombie challenges, just there's a bunch bunch of stuff in honor of Halloween coming up. But anyway, see that's what I wanna see. But here's what we're probably gonna get. We're probably gonna get get like a Black Ops 2 clone clone. But but uh, probably more polished, but polished and hopefully better, better guns because 
I'm not saying Black Ops 2 guns were bad. I just felt like, like I like Black Ops 2 a lot. I like it. I'll say I'll be the first one to say it. I say I hate it sometimes. I say I love it sometimes because it's a decent. It could be a pretty decent game. It's the thing thing is that I feel like some of the gun balances are a bit OP. Um, like the XBR, like X. I don't even remember the name of the gun, god dang. People can compare it to the Bear 50 Cal, but the thing is, when these are, like, some of these weapons are, like, not real, I believe. So, it finds me harder to to see the gun is balanced if I, if it's not really a real-life counterpart. I don't know, just to me. But, but I'm hoping they don't go for another futuristic th th theme. I mean, it's cool the first time. Call of Duty Ghost is also doing it, not really as far to an extent as we're doing it, but as, well, I'd say we as if I'm Black Ops 2 and Treyarch. If I was, I'd probably kill Von the Heart by now, but I'll get I'll get to that some other time. But anyway, wait, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. It's just that I, that I feel like they're just going to keep going forward doing a bunch of futuristics, and I feel like it's gonna eventually turn to Halo. <laughs> that, if, if they keep going this way, keep going forward and forward and fast forwarding and fast forwarding, then we might see that. Hopefully not, hopefully they take steps back. I like modern eras, I like modern weapons. I like seeing it from Treyarch, because Treyarch does good jobs with modern weapons. I am not good at Infinity War games, so I'm not good with modern warfare games. It's just, that's just, that's just my opinion. I mean, you guys can like whatever you guys want like, you guys don't like my opinions, you can list your own in the comment section. Anyway, I think I've dragged this on long enough. And then up, a bottom line that I'm trying to make in this video is that I want another World War II game, but they're probably going to give us another futuristic game game or something along those lines around what Black Ops did. did. Hopefully what Cloud Ka Ghost is gonna do because seeing the weapons now they look a lot more modern than they did because I'm not saying like the other ones look too out of out of hand it's just that there's like no more like wood grain weapons. I want to see some wood grain weapons. I want to pack up the steel. I want to want to be able See, see my FAL have wood on them. I want. To, I don't know. It's just, it's just me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you like it, new to you, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you didn't understand a word I've been saying throughout this whole video, hit those same buttons. Anyway, I've been Switch Tracker. This has been some terrible gameplay coming to you from Black Ops One, and I will talk to you all.